from the University of Notre Dame. Uh, unfortunately, that's not in Paris. It's in uh, Indiana, the USA. Um, so I'm here today to uh, present about my uh, paper on labor migration in Indonesia, and uh, in particular looking at the effects of uh, parental labor migration on uh, the health of left behind children. So um, the main motivation uh, behind this piece of research is uh, the question of whether temporary migration of uh, parents you know, away from home for work uh, has an effect on uh, the health of their children. Uh, and if so, in what direction is this effect? You know, is it negative or is it positive? Um, there's no good theory behind it, so uh, in in my mind, it's it's uh, more of an empirical question. So uh, I looked at data that that I will uh, talk about in a moment uh, to try to answer this question. So the takeaway from this is that uh, my results seem to suggest uh, that the that this net effect of uh, parental migration on the health of children. Uh, varies by sex of the child. So, um, sorry, not by sex of the child, but by sex of the parent. So in, 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 in particular, it, it seems that when mothers move away from work, uh, their health, the, the health of their children uh, is, is, you know, is uh, negatively affected. On the other hand, I don't seem to find uh, evidence to suggest that father's migration has this impact, right? So uh, a little bit about the country that uh, I'm studying. It's uh, Indonesia, it's uh, on the equator. It's, it's a pretty large country, uh, fourth largest country in the world in terms of population. Yes? Are we talking about general uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get to that soon, thanks. That's a, that's a great question. Um, yeah, it, it, it has uh, the world's 16th, uh, 16th largest economy in, in, in terms of uh, absolute GDP, but in, in per capita terms, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a growing economy. So the per capita GDP is about uh, 4,000 uh, US dollars. And this, this I believe, is uh, 2016 numbers. Uh, and and uh, someone in the audience asked if by migration, I mean internal migration or you know international migration, um, and the the answer is uh, both. But uh, I I have here um, some information on uh, where Indonesia stands in terms of uh, remit remittances from abroad. Uh, that being said, this this paper uh, isn't focused on uh, just outward migration, right? It, 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 it isn't just focused on, on, on international migration. So uh, Indonesia is the 14th ranked uh, receiving country for uh, remittances from abroad, and uh, this was in 2015. And uh, as, as, as you can see in, in relative terms, I mean, relative to uh, GDP, it's not a very uh, large uh, percentage of its GDP. It's only about 1%. So it's not quite like, uh, say, the Philippines or, uh, you know, or, or, or Mexico, where, where it's a huge uh, uh, proportion of the economy. So uh, by migration, uh, the... The definition that I uh, that I use here is just you know whether or not the parent moved uh, away from home uh, for the sole purpose of work. So un unfortunately, uh, as as it stands right now, my research doesn't quite distinguish between uh, you know whether it's uh, rural to urban migration or whether it's in, uh, internal migration or whether it's uh, international migration. So in in Indonesia has a very large a uh, number of uh, women, uh, especially who, who move to uh, neighboring countries and the Middle East uh, to work as uh, domestic help. Uh, this, this paper doesn't, doesn't try to uh, discern uh, whether or not, you know, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't really uh, consider the reasons for, uh, for moving, right? So, so, so right now it's uh, preliminary and all I look at is whether or not uh, the parents move away from work, uh, move away from home for work. And Im implicitly, uh, this, this is a, 
uh, temporary migration question, right? Because uh, the data that I look at is uh, a longitudinal survey. So uh, the people who are in the survey were uh, re recontacted. So, so by implication, you know, you, you move away not, not for good. You know, you, uh, you move away for a few years for work and, and then you come back. And and this uh, is not this isn't from my paper. Th this is by two uh, researchers at the University of Indonesia. They they broke down the numbers uh, based on the same data set. Um, so the du uh, duration of 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 moves in uh, I guess the most relevant years in this are the are the uh, last two columns, year two thousand and two thousand seven. So uh, people who migrated internally uh, uh, moved for about four years on average, right? So that, that sort of gives you a sense of, of the duration of, of moves uh, for, for people who we know migrated internally. Okay, um, the health measure uh, that I that I look at, uh, in in contrast to many uh, of uh, the papers that I've seen uh, in this field, is is not is not uh, the subjective you know uh, rank your health on a one to five scale or whatever. Um, rather, it's uh, an, an anthropomorphic uh, measure of health. So I I, I look at uh, height for age and uh, weight for age. Right. So. And 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 these were standardized by age and sex group. Uh, so the the interpretation is if if you have a height, for example, height for age or H A Z for short, if you have a height for age of negative one, then you are one standard deviation uh, below the reference median for your age and sex uh, category. And uh, over there is uh, the exact uh, formula for how. Uh, HAZ was cal calculated, and uh, I, I actually did not um, compute this myself. I, I just used uh, this data module that, that was uh, developed by someone else. It's called Z-Score 06. So it, it takes uh, World Health Organization uh, tables, age, sex, uh, reference uh, values, and, and takes uh, you know, a host of uh, variables from from my data and 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 spits out uh, the the z scores for weight for age and height for age, right? So uh, the this this is I I think better than uh, simply asking someone how uh, how healthy he or she feels, and in um, in the survey that I that I employ uh, the Indonesian Family Life Survey I I haven't even mentioned it yet, um, in in the in the most recent uh, wave they they looked at uh, biomarkers so they, they took a blood sample and looked at uh, biomarkers testing for like uh, you know uh, uh, red blood cell count and, and stuff like that so that that's another route that uh, you know uh, those of us working in health might want to uh, consider oh I, and and the I guess the main advan advantage of using z scores is uh, because it's linear it makes interpretation a lot uh, easier and in in particular you know there's there's no difference bit uh, the the difference between someone uh, with with say h a z negative one to zero point five is exactly the same as someone with h a z zero point seven to one point two so it it just makes interpretation a whole lot easier. And, and because these uh, scores have been standardized by age and sex uh, grouping, it's, it's uh, completely uh, gender neut neutral, gender independent. And just to give you an idea of uh, the uh, prevalence of you know, uh, male nourishment in Indonesia, um, you, you can see like a general downward trend in, in, in terms of weight for age. So, so this is a measure of uh, underweight uh, for, for children. But um, even though there's a downward trend, it's, it's still you know, pretty high. Like in, in, in 2015, you, you have 20% of children uh, below the age of five who uh, you know, we would consider underweight. And for the most uh, relevant year in uh, my years in my study, 2000 to 2000 and 2007, uh, 
you know, we, we, we do see an, an, a bit of an improvement. Uh, maybe I should speed up. And, and, and this is uh, height for age uh, data. And, and again, there's a general downward trend. But uh, between 2000 and 2007, um, un unlike, unlike, height for, unlike weight for age, height for age actually uh, became worse. All right, and a little bit about my sample. It's a panel data set. So children, I, I, I extracted children from the data set aged uh, zero to seven in uh, the year 2000 and looked at uh, the same children in 2007. Right, uh, and this, this, this allows me to uh, control for uh, time invariant uh, characteristics that are both uh, observables and uh, that are both observable and un unobservable. So, so this removes a huge source of uh, omitted variable bias, as, as uh, you guys know. And I excluded uh, outliers, so HAZ and WAZ uh, that are less than negative six or more than and than six, I exclude. So the final sample is about 3,000 children, right? And, and from these children, I, I get information about their parents. And sorry, uh, so I, 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 I picked children aged between zero and seven in 2000 for the specific reason that I, I, I wanted to uh, avoid confounding, uh, uh, you know, the, the effects of parents' choices uh, from, 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 you know, the, 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 the sole effect of parental migration on children. So if children who are uh, age zero, uh, zero to seven are pretty uh, sort of uh, reliant on their, on their parents, right? So if, if, if the parents move, uh, it's sort of more plausible that whatever effect on health that you see on children age zero to seven uh, was uh, hugely effective, was 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 hugely because of uh, the parents' move, the absence of the parent. Right. Uh, um, so this is again. Uh, sh sorry, this is comparing uh, the uh, descriptive characteristics of children with one parent who migrated uh, versus um, the full sample and versus. Uh, children whom, for whom no parents migrated. So in my data, I actually did not have both parents migrate, right? Either the father migrated or the mother migrated. So parents with one, uh, children with one parent who migrated uh, actually were healthier, at least uh, in terms of height for age and uh, weight for age Z scores in 2000. So in, in the initial year, children with one migrant parent were healthier, but uh, strangely, we, we see this uh, pattern reversed in 2007, right? And IFLS, as I said, is an ongoing longitudinal study. I won't talk about this because we are uh, out of time. I use uh, the waves from 2000 to 2007. Um, this is some related research and Okay, so um, what, what was uh, interesting about uh, migration research is, is the focus mostly on, uh, on international migration, right? Uh, looking at remittances, there's like tons of uh, papers that have been done about that, but when it comes to internal migration, it's, it's, it's sort of a, a newer thing. It's only recently that more and more focus has been on uh, internal migration, and, and, and I think it's, for the simple reason that uh, micro data is, is, is not as widely available as, as uh, macro data, right? And, and those uh, studies that look at, at internal migration uh, tended to focus on, on uh, more easily measurable things like uh, school attendance and uh, performance in school. And my, uh, here's my regression model. It's very simple. It's just a linear model and uh, I, I, I just run a fixed effects uh, linear regression, right? And uh, crucial to, to this analysis, and uh, you know, it, it, it might just uh, render the whole paper meaningless if uh, the, the, there wasn't enough variation in, in the uh, explanatory variable of interest. So if, um, because I, I, I look at the same children, uh, if, if you know, if I had no parents uh, who moved in wave one and wave two, or like parents who move in wave one, and the same parents move in wave two, then there's no variation and there's nothing to look at. But uh, fortunately for me, um, of children whose parents migrate, okay, sorry, that uh, went by faster than I thought. 
So uh, here, here's my results. And, and again, this is preliminary. Uh, I find a negative uh, significant effect for uh, whether or not a mother migrated for, for work on uh, health, and, health, and, uh, health for age Z-score, right? And no such effect for weight for age Z-score, even though the sign is the same. And uh, the effects for father's migration is insignificant across the board, right? So this is suggestive of a gendered, uh, of a gendered uh, pattern, right? Thanks.